Greetings, graduates, family and friends, faculty and staff. My name is Doris Rubio, and I am the director of the Institute for Clinical Research Education. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the 2021 Virtual Institute for Clinical Research Education graduation ceremony this year. We are recognizing 88 graduates from our degree and career development programs. All of you should be proud of what you have accomplished in your time at the ICRE. We recognize that our programs are demanding as we strive to prepare you to be the best possible position to launch your career. Whether you've participated in our degree programs in clinical research or medical education, or one of our many career development programs for trainees across the career pathway, in graduating today, you will become one of nearly 2,000 alumni of the ICRE. As an alum, you can count on our continued commitment to your success and we pledge to support you as you progress along your career path. We look forward to hearing about all of your accomplishments and achievements. It is my pleasure to introduce our 2021 keynote speaker, Dr. Anantha Shaker. Dr. Shaker is the Senior Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences and the John and Gertrude Peterson Dean of the School of Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh. He is a nationally recognized educator, researcher, and entrepreneur with major contributions in medicine and life sciences. Dr. Shaker's distinguished career has been defined by innovation, transformation, and sweeping successful collaborations across the private, public, and philanthropic sectors. Dr. Shaker spent more than three decades at Indiana University School of Medicine and Indiana University Health before starting his leadership roles at the University of Pittsburgh in June 2020. He has received continuous funding from the National Institutes of Health for basic clinical and translational research since 1989, and has authored more than 200 articles in peer-reviewed publications. Dr. Shaker is an elected member of the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine's Forum on Drug Discovery, Development, and Translation. He's also served on several national leadership committees, such as the Executive Committee of NIH's Clinical and Translational Science Award Consortium, the National Institutes of Mental Health Board of Scientific Advisors, the Advisory Council for the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences, and the Cures Acceleration Network at NIH, the Board of Advisors of the Clinical Research Center of the NIH campus, and was the founding president of the Association for Clinical and Translational Sciences. Hello everyone, I'm Ananta Shaker, the Senior Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences at University of Pittsburgh and the Dean of the School of Medicine. And it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to the Institute of Clinical Research Education graduation ceremony. The Cl Institute for Clinical Research Education or ICRE is a multidisciplinary institute that provides training in clinical and translational science and medical education to a wide range of trainees. The mission of the ICRE, an avowed anti-racist organization, is to improve health outcomes, health practice, and health policy by creating an equitable, inclusive environment dedicated to educating the next generation of clinical and translational researchers. This was a vision that began with the leadership of Vishwa Kapoor, a visionary who thought about clinical and translational science training as a true discipline of its own and a discipline that was much needed for us to innovate and change our um, rather dysfunctional healthcare system. And, and this is also a, a institute that has since been ably led and ably expanded by Dr. Doris Rubio, who is the current director of ICRE. Doris uh, and Wishwa have been great friends of mine for many years, and I am so proud to be part of this family now and being able to participate in their graduation. The ICRE offers a wide range of training programs, as well as wide range of graduate degrees and fellowships for career development in clinical and translational sciences research. ICRE was the first and one of the first 
national institutes to provide a PhD program in clinical and translational sciences. ICRE was one of the leaders in nationally in creating a career development program for fellows and for minorities, uh, the so-called SEED program. There are many other extraordinary hosts within ICRE. For example, this uh, program also develops SEED2, a um, program that provides skills and training to uh, medical students in clinical and translational sciences. It has been a um, innovator in training residents and fellows in clinical and translational science tracks. It has also created the CSTP or Clinical Science, Scientist Training Program for medical students, which is another very popular program within our training um, offerings. Beyond that, ICRE has also created international scholars track that has create that has trained multiple uh, trainees from many international sites and many underserved areas across the globe. In addition to all of these training programs, ICRE is also the home to the national CTSA networks, KL2 and TL1 programs. These are um, leading programs in the country and our TL1 and KL2 programs were recently scored as some of the best in the nation through a peer review uh, in the uh, CTSI's renewal. All this to say that ICRE is an extraordinary organization has been creating a incredible group of innovators and young investigators that have enriched the environment within big health sciences. I see this as a key, in, uh, key foundation for all of our future planning for developing new generation of clinical researchers, new, develop, develop, uh, new generations of uh, implementation researchers, as well as a new generation of entrepreneurs. One of the things that really impressed me with ICRE is the fact that despite this wide range of training programs and despite hundreds of mentors that are engaged in this uh, training program, every one of the trainees ranks their experience with ICRE as one of the best experiences they've had in their career. There's nearly 90 plus percent complete satisfaction with this training program. That's in addition to everything else of an extraordinary achievement. So it's, it's my honor to congratulate each and every one of you to have completed your training in this exceptional organization and to have graduated with your certificates, with your degree programs, and with your training accomplishments. I wish you all the best in your own independent career. And I know with the incredible training you have received at ICRI, you will be exceptionally successful and make hit health sciences proud. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Dr. Shager, for that inspiring message. Hello, everyone. I'm Galen Switzer. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Pittsburgh and director of the ICRE's PhD program in clinical and translational science. It's a pleasure to share in the celebration of our graduates today, and it's something I look forward to every year. Our PhD students are a highly diverse group, they come from a variety of content disciplines and began PhD training at various stages in their education and careers. The PhD represents the highest level of academic education and training and is only achieved by students of the very highest caliber. It's my privilege to work with such an incredibly motivated and exceptionally accomplished group of students. 
Today, I'm honored to recognize and congratulate the recent graduates from the PhD program in clinical and translational science. Dr. Christopher Bice. Dr. Bice's research focuses on patient choice of provider and provider interventions for low back pain. He will continue in his role as assistant professor of physical therapy here at the University of Pittsburgh and as a consultant to the UPMC health plan. Dr. Anne-Marie Rick. Dr. Rick's research focuses on the detection, assessment, and categorization of neonatal risk for early onset sepsis. She will continue her work as a physician scientist at the University of Pittsburgh and in her role as the Director of Newborn Research Support Services for CTSI. Dr. Sarah Taylor. Dr. Taylor's research focuses on the development and implementation of novel therapeutics for gynecologic malignancies. She will continue her work as a physician scientist at the University of Pittsburgh and as the gynecologic cancer team lead of the University of Pittsburgh Cancer Institute and Hillman Cancer Center's translational research team. Congratulations and our best wishes to our incredible cohort of clinical and translational science PhD graduates. Good morning. My name is Thomas Rudomsky, and I am the Director of Clinical Research Programs at the ICRE. It's my honor to first recognize our Master of Science graduates from the Clinical Research Program. Dr. Atham Abdul Malak. Dr. Abdul Malak will continue his vascular surgery residency here at the University of Pittsburgh. Dr. Ma Maz Hassan. Maz will begin an internal medicine research track residency at NYU Langone Medical Center. Dr. Emily Brandt. Dr. Brandt will be joining the Departments of Critical Care and Emergency Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh as an assistant professor. James Brown. James will begin a cardiothoracic surgery residency at UPMC. Dr. Linda Burkett. Dr. Burkett has accepted a faculty position at Virginia Commonwealth University in the Division of Female Pelvic Medicine and Reconstructive Surgery. Stephen Canton. Stephen will begin his orthopedic surgery residency at UPMC. He plans to continue his research and entrepreneurship endeavors in conjunction with his clinical training. Dr. Malamo Contouris. Dr. Contouris will continue at UPMC as a T32 postdoctoral scholar in the Heart and Vascular Institute and as a clinical instructor in the Division of Cardiology. Brett Curtis. Brett will return to medical school and plans to apply to an emergency medicine residency in the upcoming academic year. Dr. Andrew Paul Deeb. Dr. Deeb is in the midst of his general surgery residency and will be returning to full-time clinical duties upon graduation from the master's program. He will also be completing a productive two years of clinical research in the products lab under the mentorship of Dr. Joshua Brown. Dr. Kimberly DeMerle. Dr. DeMerle has accepted a position as assistant professor in the Division of Pulmonary, Allergy, and Critical Care Medicine. Dr. Lauren Goldberg. Dr. Goldberg will remain in Pittsburgh as a pediatrician engaged in public health projects. Dr. Andrea Ibarra. Dr. Ibarra will continue her research as an assistant professor in the Department of Anesthesiology. Dr. Casey Kidd. Dr. Kidd will be returning to her home state of West Virginia this summer, where she will direct the new WVU Medicine Children's Gender and Sexual Development Clinic and study ways of supporting gender diverse youth and their families. Dr. Yesesui Kislovsky. Following the completion of her fellowship, Dr. Kislovsky will be starting as Director of Reproductive Infectious Disease for Allegheny Health Network with academic appointments at Johns Hopkins University and Drexel University. Carly O'Connor Terry. Carly will begin her ob residency at UPMC. Christine O. Oh. Christine will be starting her psychiatry residency at Stanford University. Dr. Amanda Phillips. Dr. Phillips will be returning to her clinical duties 
and completing her residency in vascular surgery at UPMC. Dr. Jennifer Priskowski. Dr. Priskowski will continue as an assistant professor and director of geriatric pharmacy research and education in the Division of Geriatric Medicine here at the University of Pittsburgh. Dr. Priskowski was recently accepted into the ICRE's Doctor of Philosophy in Clinical and Translational Science program. Dr. Araya Puanan. Dr. Puanan accepted a neuromuscular faculty position at Wake Forest School of Medicine in August 2019. Since joining Wake Forest, she has successfully obtained an intramural pilot funding and submitted the NIH K-23 Career Development Award and plans to use the knowledge gained from the ICRE's MS in Clinical Research to become an independent investigator performing clinical research and trials in the field of muscular dystrophy. Dr. Carolyn Reeser. Dr. Reeser will continue in her general surgery residency and surgical oncology fellowship. Dr. Kelsey Schweiberger. Dr. Schweiberger will complete the final year of her general academic pediatrics fellowship and pursue a clinician researcher position after graduation. Dr. Cindy Tang. Dr. Tang will continue in her general surgery residency at UPMC and plans to pursue a fellowship in surgical critical care. Benjamin Zukulkowski. Benjamin will be starting his internal medicine residency at UPMC. Dr. Margaret Zupa. Dr. Zupa will complete her T32 postdoctoral fellowship and then join the faculty of the University of Pittsburgh Division of Endocrinology and Metabolism as an assistant professor. Benjamin Zussman. Benjamin will begin his neurology residency at the Mass General Brigham Neurology Program. Now for our Certificate in Clinical Research graduates. Ololade Adebiyi. Ololade will return to her fourth year of medical school with plans to apply to psychiatry or triple board residency. Dr. Jesse Barnum. Dr. Barnum plans to use the knowledge, mentoring, and experience she has gained from this program to bolster her clinical research acumen in current and future projects at UPMC and the University of Pittsburgh. Dr. Nami Safai Hayeri. Dr. Safai Hayeri will continue as a T32 fellow at the University of Pittsburgh. Finally, our graduates from the Certificate in Clinical and Translational Science for doctoral students in the Health Sciences program. Jonathan Birabaharan. Jonathan will continue at the University of Pittsburgh School of Pharmacy as a PhD candidate in the Clinical Pharmaceutical Scientist program. Dr. Morgan Cassell. Dr. Cassell will continue in her graduate studies as a PhD student at the School of Pharmacy. Dr. Kato Hoshitsuki. Dr. Hoshitsuki will continue in the Clinical Pharmaceutical Sciences PhD program at the University of Pittsburgh School of Pharmacy and as a TL1 postdoctoral scholar. Dr. Ma Madeline Kreider. Dr. Kreider will continue to work her, on her PhD in the Pharmaceutical Scientist track at the University of Pittsburgh School of Pharmacy with a focus in pharmacogenomics. Dr. Madeline Lipp. Dr. Lipp will continue to work toward a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences, after which she hopes to pursue a career in academia. I wish to offer my sincere congratulations to our graduates and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Hello everyone, my name is Carla Spagnoletti and I direct the Medical Education Degree Program at the ICRE. And it is my pleasure to first recognize graduates from the Master of Science in Medical Education Program. Dr. Lauren Carlos. Dr. Carlos will be joining the Northwestern Medicine Regional Medical Group as a maternal fetal medicine specialist. Dr. Erica Freeling. Dr. Freeling will continue as an associate professor, the director of the Office of Faculty Development in the Department of Pediatrics, and the fellowship program director in pediatric hematology oncology here at the University of Pittsburgh. Dr. Gregory Jaffe. Dr. Jaffe is currently a clinician educator, faculty member in family medicine at Thomas Jefferson University. Dr. Sarah Jones. 
Dr. Jones will continue as a junior faculty member in the Division of General Internal Medicine in the role of clinician educator. Dr. Carla Kalaf McStay. Dr. Kalaf McStay will remain at the University of Pittsburgh in the Division of General Internal Medicine section of palliative care. Dr. Gabrielle Langman. Dr. Langman will begin as a hospice and palliative medicine physician at Kobacher House, part of the Ohio Health Physician Group. Dr. Shana Miles. Dr. Miles will start as the Military Residency Program Director at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada, in addition to serving as a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon. Dr. Eduardo Milanovic. Dr. Milanovic will join the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center as an assistant professor in the General Internal Medicine Division. Dr. Asha Rakuti. Dr. Rakuti is currently a clinical assistant professor at SUNY University at Buffalo, as well as a hematology oncology attending physician at the VA Western New York Healthcare System in Buffalo, New York. Dr. Diana Sandberg. Dr. Sandberg will join the faculty in the University of Pittsburgh Division of General Internal Medicine. Dr. Michael Simonson. Dr. Simonson will remain at the University of Pittsburgh as an academic hospitalist and assistant professor of medicine. Dr. Sarah Spinella. Dr. Spinella will be joining the faculty at the VA Pittsburgh Healthcare System. Dr. Alicia Topol. Dr. Topol will continue at UPMC in the Heart and Vascular Institute as a non-invasive cardiologist, in addition to her role in the Palliative and Supportive Institute for Palliative Care. And finally, Dr. Lauren Trembley. Dr. Trembley will remain at the University of Pittsburgh and has accepted a faculty position within the Department of Emergency Medicine. Next, we will recognize the graduates from the Certificate in Medical Education program. Dr. Sarah Allen. Dr. Allen will complete her fellowship in minimally invasive gynecologic surgery at McGee Hospital with an anticipated graduation in summer 2022. Sarah hopes to pursue a career in academic medicine. Dr. Mark Andre. Dr. Andre will continue at UPMC as a clinician in both the emergency medicine and critical care medicine departments. Dr. William Sorolis. Dr. Sorolis is a clinician educator faculty member in internal medicine in the VA Pittsburgh healthcare system. Dr. Nathan King. Dr. King will finish his fellowship in minimally invasive gynecologic surgery in June of 2022, and then plans to work as a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon at an academic institution with involvement in resident surgical education. Hello, my name is Dr. Issa Davis, and I am an Associate Professor of Medicine, Clinical and Translational Science co-director of the KL2 Clinical and Translational Science Scholars Program, and director of the Career Education and Enhancement for Healthcare Research Diversity SEED Program. It is my pleasure to be here today to recognize the graduates from the ICRE's various training programs. We will begin by recognizing the graduates from the SEED Program, which is a career development fellowship for minorities who are underrepresented in academic medicine or the health sciences. The goal of SEED is to provide a solid foundation for a successful research career. Dr. Andrea Abara. Dr. Abara will continue her research as an assistant professor of the, in the Department of Anesthesiology. Dr. Daniel Jacobson Lopez. Dr. Jacobson Lopez has accepted a position as assistant professor at Boston University School of Social Work. Dr. Elena James. Dr. James will continue to develop her skin health equity and mobile derm program through partnerships with community practices. Her goal is to increase access to dermatologic care and better understand health disparities. Dr. Lanisa Stokes. Dr. Stokes will continue working at the University of Pittsburgh on projects designed to reduce minority adolescents' health disparities. Next, we will recognize the graduates of the C2 program, which provides skills, training, and mentoring to the University of Pittsburgh medical students who are underrepresented minorities in academic medicine and the health sciences. The director of this program is Dr. Utibe Essien. Archibald Ajakum Yamoa. 
Archibald will continue in medical school and plans to proceed to residency following graduation. Ayana Garland. Ayana is a rising MS4 planning to apply to OBGYN for residency. She will continue in her research on racial disparities related to intimate partner homicide during pregnancy. Ayomipo Ifidan. Ayomipo will complete medical school and plans to apply to pediatric residency programs. Abraham Williams. Abraham will continue in medical school and plans to pursue a career in academic surgery. Next, we will honor graduates from the KL2 Clinical and Translational Science Scholars Program, a multidisciplinary career development program that prepares scientists from a broad range of disciplines for independent careers in clinical and translational science. The CTSA Scholars Program is directed by Dr. Doris Rubio and myself. Dr. Hadi Hadar, Dr. Hadar's NIH K23 grant was funded and he will remain at Pitt in the Division of Infectious Diseases. Dr. Marquise Hawkins. Dr. Hawkins will continue in his position as an assistant professor in the Department of Epidemiology, studying health behaviors and maternal health. Dr. Jing Luo. Dr. Luo will stay at the University of Pittsburgh and pursue additional mentored research training under K23 supported by the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases. Next, we will recognize the graduates of the Clinical Scientist Training Program for medical students. The Clinical Scientist Training Program, CSTP, offers clinical research training and scholarships to the University of Pittsburgh medical students who are committed to careers in clinical investigation. The CSTP trainees engage in mentored research projects and obtain a Master's of Science or Certificate in Clinical Research from the ICRE. The director of this program is Dr. Judy Chang. Alola De Adebiyi. Alola Day will return to her fourth year of medical school with plans to apply to psychiatry or triple board residency. Tierra Bender. Tierra will continue her research at the University of Pittsburgh and return to medical school. Caroline Ewing. Caroline will be returning to medical school to complete her fourth year. Shushil Katerpal. Shushil will resume his fourth year of medical school with intentions of applying to pediatrics and triple board residency. James Newton. James will return to medical school and plans to graduate with his medical doctorate and master's in clinical research degrees in the spring of 2022. Chikwudi Anyukwu. Chikwudi will finish his fourth year at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine and successfully match in orthopedic surgery. Olawa Simisola Apeyami. Olawa Simisola will return to medical school. Harrison Stern. Harrison will return to medical school and plans to enter an emergency medicine residency. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Hello. My name is Dr. Deanna Wilson, and I'm an assistant professor of medicine and pediatrics. It is my pleasure to be here today to recognize the graduates from the ICRE's various training programs. I'll begin by recognizing the graduates of the Clinical Scientist Track for Residents. Dr. Kathleen McTighe previously served as the director for this track, and I recently took on the directorship. The Clinical Scientist Track is designed to prepare outstanding internal medicine residents for a career in academic medicine and in clinical investigation by providing them with opportunities to learn and practice clinical research skills during their residency training. Dr. Tiffany Brazil. Dr. Brazil will be applying to cardiology fellowship programs and plans to pursue a career as a physician scientist. Dr. Jennifer Rodriguez. Dr. Rodriguez has accepted a position as a hospitalist with the physician-led group Team Health and will be working out of the Memorial Healthcare System in South Florida next year. She's pursuing fellowship in gastroenterology. Dr. Bailey Sparks. Dr. Sparks will pursue a career as a VA hospitalist and palliative care physician. Next, we will recognize the graduates of the International Scholars Track. 
the International Scholars Track offers training in clinical research and academic medicine to outstanding international medical graduates enrolled in the University of Pittsburgh Internal Med Medicine Residency Program. Dr. Peter Bulova serves as the program director for the track. Dr. Anna Apostolopoulou. Dr. Apostolopoulou will begin as a fellow at Massachusetts General Hospital in the Transplant Infectious Diseases Program. Dr. Sarah Fagihi Kashani. Dr. Fagihi Kashani will begin a rheumatology fellowship at Stanford with plans to remain in academia to become a physician scientist. Dr. Mohammed Hassan. Dr. Hassan will pursue a career as a hospitalist at UPMC. Dr. Saloni Kapoor. Dr. Kapoor will continue as a hospitalist at Mercy, followed by residency in ophthalmology. Dr. Arjun Lakshman. Dr. Lakshman will begin his hematology oncology fellowship at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. He plans to pursue a career in malignant hematology with a focus on clinical and translational research. Dr. Ulu Funsha Agbalajobi. Dr. Agbalajobi has accepted an offer with a consulting company where she plans to hone her implementation science skills. The last set of graduates are from the Clinical and Translational Science Fellowship Program. This program provides rigorous translational research training to qualified pre- and postdoctoral students who are able to effectively create innovative ways to advance research from the initial discovery through improved patient outcomes and health policy. I'll begin by recognizing our two pre-doctoral graduates, Lauren Ellen Ashcraft. Lauren will continue to work towards completing her PhD in social work. Raphael Crum. Raphael will continue to work on completing his MD-PhD. Next, our postdoctoral graduates. Dr. Corinne Chrisimore. Dr. Chrisimore will continue to work towards the completion of her PhD in pharmaceutical sciences with a goal to pursue clinical pharmacology post-graduation. Dr. Natalie Ernkoff. Dr. Ernkoff will begin as an associate policy researcher at RAND. Dr. Casey Kidd. Dr. Kidd will be returning to her home state of West Virginia this summer, where she'll direct the new West Virginia University Medicine Children's Gender and Sexual Development Clinic and study ways of supporting gender diverse youth and their families. Dr. Christina Nicholson. Dr. Nicholson will be finishing her residency in general surgery at UPMC and will go on to pursue a fellowship in surgical critical care and trauma surgery. I wish to extend my most heartfelt congratulations to all of our graduates from the ICRE's career development, training, and degree programs. I just want to say congratulations and thank you so much to the ICRE graduates for this year. Uh, the past, you know, 12, 14 months has really been kind of an unprecedented time. I think for all of us, we had to be very adaptable. And I've just been so impressed by our, our students, you know, willingness to jump into uh, a modified experience and, and still participate really actively and put give us their all. So, so thank you so much to all of you for your participation in the past, past year and really the best of luck to all of you moving forward. You, you know how old people talk about how they had to walk up the hill both ways in the snow to go to school? Well, they have nothing on you. You can say that you got your degree during a pandemic, homeschooling, chaos. Can you please turn, you're on mute, unmute yourself. Congratulations to the graduates of the ICRE program. You can tell those young whippersnappers about how you did it. Congratulations to all of the, uh, our ICRE scholars um, and a special shout out to the KL2, the SEED and the C2 scholars. Um, it has really just been wonderful to be on this crazy roller coaster that we were on this year. Um, the world has been unrelenting in giving us problems to solve and address. Um, and we've been tested like no other this year. Um, but the good news is that you all have been well-trained and we have equipped you with incredible tools to be able to solve the world's most complex problems. And so we send you forth and uh, at my, my encourage you to be intentional and mindful. Um, stop and pause and take a breath and say each day, what is my intention today? Um, and go out there and, and help us solve these complex problems. 
And more importantly, remember in the words of Eleanor Roosevelt that no one can make you feel inferior without your permission. So take all that you have and go forth and we wish you well, congratulations. I wanna give a special congratulations to all of our ICRE grads with a special shout out to our doctoral students in the CTS certificate program. You are a truly outstanding group of individuals who have made it through this era of COVID and your future is truly yours to mold and your success is without question. Um, my greatest advice to you is to continue to persevere, fight for your dreams and embrace the twists and turns that life will undoubtedly throw your way. Um, and though I have only had the opportunity to work with you for a short while, it has truly been my pleasure and I wish you all the best of luck in your future adventures. Congratulations. Hey everyone, congratulations, huge congratulations to the ICRE uh, graduating class of 2021. Just want to especially shout out these C2 scholars who are graduating this year. You all have fought the twin pandemics that they've been called of COVID-19 and racial injustice while going through your third year of medical training, while pursuing your research interests and passions. And I just want you all to hold on to those passions over the rest of your career and your journey. I hope that this year has been as meaningful to you all as it has been to us who have had the opportunity to shepherd you in this process. Congratulations and see you again soon. Congrats ICRE grads. We're so impressed by your efforts to persist through all of the challenges over this past year and, and absolutely wish you the best of luck. And a special shout out to all of our innovation track grads. You're the first to complete the track and we couldn't be prouder of all of your accomplishments and please keep in touch. Hello everyone. I am so grateful to have this opportunity to congratulate you on this achievement. Whether our paths cross during the medical writing class or the ethics class, or maybe even your comprehensive competency review, However, we've interacted. It's been my pleasure and honor. I have nothing but best wishes for your future, and I know it'll be a bright one. Congratulations to all of the ICR grads, with special shout out to those in the medical education master's and certificate program. What a year it's been, as everyone has talked about. What great new teaching skills we've all learned together as we've gone through how to do almost everything virtually. You guys are well prepared to go forward and, and we couldn't be prouder of all of you. What a fabulous group of, of folks you are. I would share with you just a couple of thoughts to move forward. The first is to always figure out what your passion is and to go for it. Sometimes your passion is something that's not always readily available. You have to work for it, you have to make it work, but you have to stay within your passion. And then the second piece of advice I would give you is you have to figure out a way to enjoy the journey. Because if you wait till you're done your training and you wait till you get your first faculty appointment, you wait till you get your first grant, you wait till you get your first promotion, life gets really short. It is a fabulous journey. And we have all been privileged to share that, the beginning of that journey with you. So we wish you well, we wish you success, which we are confident that you will have. And just the reminder to stay in touch because once you've connected with us, we are always there for you. Best of luck. Congratulations. It has been such a pleasure to have a chance to work with you during your time with the ICRE. During this global health crisis, it gives me hope to see so many bright, adaptable, empathetic individuals learning how to be rigorous clinical researchers while tackling so many other clinical and personal challenges. You will all accomplish great things. So best wishes with your future adventures. I'm excited to see where you're going to go with all the ideas that we've discussed. Hello everyone. Congratulations to all of you and especially those in the translational research track and many I had the privilege of working with in the advanced grant writing course. I have been so impressed with your intellect and drive, but perhaps 
more importantly, with your ability to be successful and inspire each other during these challenging times. Best wishes to you all. Congratulations. Congratulations um, to all of our ICRE graduates, um, especially our graduates from the master's degree, certificate and REACH programs in clinical research. It's been a pleasure getting to know and teach many of you over the past two years. And thank you for being so understanding and adaptable as we conducted our classes online. As an alumnus of the program myself, I can attest to the fact that as a result of your training, coupled with how talented you all are as individuals, um, you will have tremendous potential to succeed as clinician investigators in whatever your next steps may be. I wish you all nothing but the best as you move on to the next phase of your training or take that first faculty position. And remember, we love to hear from our alumni, so please don't hesitate to reach out in the future. Congratulations. Hi all, congratulations on your graduation from the ICRE. You have much to be proud of and we all look forward to seeing you succeed in all of your, your endeavors. Um, thank you, particularly to the Health Services Research Track students who um, I have been most gratified and grateful uh, to work with. And uh, I look forward to hopefully working with you uh, in the future, maybe. Anyway, congratulations. So I'd just like to say congratulations to all the graduates and especially the newly minted PhDs. Um, I have so enjoyed working with you, watching you develop into incredibly strong and well-trained independent investigators. I admire your resilience and your perseverance through what I know um, has been a long and difficult journey. And uh, as a measurement specialist, I think about how to measure success in this, this context. And um, by any measure I can think of, you have more than succeeded. Um, we are all so proud of you. Best wishes. Please stay in touch. And again, congratulations. Hello, ICRE graduating class of 2021. During this pandemic, I will look for any excuse to celebrate. So let's pull out the disco ball. <laughs> let's get some beads going. Because you deserve to celebrate. And let's see if this works. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2021. We are so proud of you. Um, and I have just been in awe of your um, grit and scrappiness and creativity during this crazy time. And I would encourage you to, to hold on to that and take it with you because it will definitely serve you well in a research career, but you continue to amaze and inspire us. Um, so as everyone has said, please keep in touch because we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations. Congratulations, iSeri graduates. Um, I really hope that in addition to uh, the, the courses that you've taken, um, the instructors that you've, that you've had, um, that you've also been able to value uh, the, the mentorship, uh, the, the peer connections throughout your, your time within the ICRE. And I think on, on behalf of all of us here, we really wish you the best. And we hope that you uh, uh, don't uh, continue to be strangers. Come back, uh, you know, and, and, and connect with us. Let us know how you're doing. Uh, so again, congrats. Um, and we look um, uh, forward, to hear, forward to hearing about your successes in the future. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. 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 Since 2000, the Institute for Clinical Research Education has been training future leaders through various graduate, career development, and training programs. Each year, we recognize one alum who's made significant contributions to the field of clinical and translational science. I am proud to share that this year's recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award in Clinical Research is Dr. Julie Donahue, an alumna of the Clinical and Translational Science Scholars Program, or the KL2, and she's also an accomplished researcher and educator. Dr. Donahue is professor and chair in the Department of Health Policy and Management in the Graduate School of Public Health. 
She is the director of the Medicaid Research Center and the co-director of the Center for Pharmaceutical Policy and Prescribing. Dr. Donahue earned a PhD in health policy from Harvard University and completed a postdoctoral fellowship in pharmaceutical policy research at Harvard Medical School. Dr. Donahue conducts research on insurance coverage, financing, and delivery of healthcare with a focus on use of prescription drugs and behavioral health services. She has studied the impact of policy changes on access, quality, and cost in Medicare, Medicaid, and commercial insurance. Her research has been published in leading journals such as the New England Journal of Medicine, JAMA, JAMA Psychiatry, Annals of Internal Medicine, and Health Affairs. In collaboration with Academy Health, she launched the Medicaid Outcomes Distributive Research Network to support state Medicaid policy evaluations. Dr. Donahue's research group has a long track record of grant funding from federal agencies, including the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the National Institute of Mental Health, the National Institute of Drug Abuse, the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, and from several foundations. It's truly a pleasure to recognize Dr. Donahue today for all her outstanding accomplishments. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I am really grateful to the Clinical and Translational Science Institute and to the Institute for Clinical Research Education for this honor. Um, the ICRE and specifically the KL2 program provided me with uh, every kind of support imaginable uh, at a time when I had a lot to learn. Um, the KL2 provided me with financial support, with world-class mentoring, um, incredible feedback on grants uh, that really helped to demystify the process, um, and probably most importantly, a source of lifelong colleagues. Um, as I reflect on what has been most rewarding in my academic career, um, it's really the relationships uh, with colleagues, uh, co-investigators and co-authors that I value the most. Uh, so I'm grateful to the faculty of the ICRE for, for really modeling that collegiality and generosity of spirit that's so important in doing team science. So uh, to the class of 2021, congratulations, you made it. Um, couldn't have been easy to finish uh, a program during the, uh, the middle of a pandemic, but you did it. Um, I wish you all the best uh, in your career. Have fun and congratulations. Thank you. Since its establishment in 2002, the Medical Education Degree Program has trained over 150 medical educators in the Master of Science and Certificate programs. The alumni of this program have gone on to make valuable contributions to the field of medical education. The Distinguished Alumnus Award in Medical Education is given each year to a graduate who has achieved excellence in scholarship, mentorship, and leadership in medical education. The recipient of this award demonstrates outstanding professional and personal development through pro both traditional channels and innovative approaches. It is with great pleasure that I name Dr. Jennifer Corbelli as the recipient of the 2021 Distinguished Alumnus Award in Medical Education. Dr. Corbelli completed her Master of Science in Medical Education degree in 2013. She is an Associate Pro Professor of Medicine in the Division of General Internal Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh and serves as the Internal Medicine Residency Training Program Director. She's fellowship trained in medical education and has extensive teaching experience at both the national and local levels. She co-directs the master's level course series on fundamentals of adult learning at the ICRE. Dr. Corbelli has presented nationally and published work in a variety of different research content areas including systematic review, medical education research, such as curriculum development and evaluation, and women's health. In addition, she continues to actively mentor residents and fellows in their own research and education projects. It is truly a pleasure to recognize Dr. Corbelli today for all of her outstanding achievements. Congratulations, Dr. Corbelli. Hi everyone, I am so grateful and honored to be recognized with this award. I know many of the graduates of the ICRE's Masters in Medical Education and I know how outstanding and accomplished 
they are. So to be recognized among this incredible group means, means a great deal to me. I can't overstate what the master's program did for me to, to launch my career. So much of what I've done in the past 10 years would not have been possible, period, without the ICRE and the master's program. And some of the things might have been possible, but would have taken much, much longer and been much more difficult. It was something I couldn't really appreciate as much in the moment or during that time in the fellowship as I could, as I can now in retrospect, seeing how well the, the master's and the fellowship program prepared me for all components of my career as a clinician educator um, after fellowship. And I really mean all, direct teaching, leadership, mentorship, med ed scholarship, every, everything that we do that's intrinsic to our day to day. I just had this incredibly strong and deep foundation provided for me in, in, the, in that two years, which was such, such an incredible privilege. And it was really a transformative experience. And I will never, ever stop being grateful for it. And I will, and I continue to use what I learned in that fellowship every day. I carry it with me in everything that I do in my work. Um, I want to thank many people who have been instrumental in my life and who continue to be. I want to thank Wishwa Kapoor, without whom none of this clearly would be possible. Um, I am grateful that I was able to work with him um, and know him. And thank you, Wishwa, for all that you have done for an absolutely innumerable number of, of academic um, academic academics, physicians and non-physicians. Um, I would like to thank Roseanne Granieri, who was um, the head of the master's, who directed the master's when I was in it. She was a very inspirational educator and I continue um, to be grateful for everything that she's done for me. And I draw on things that I learn from her every day. I wanna thank, of course, Missy McNeil and Carla Spagnoletti, who have been my mentor personal and professional and life mentors since I came to Pittsburgh in 2007. They have been such role models for me in how to be a successful clinician educator and to balance all of the things that we do and all of all of the roles. And without them, um, you know, they showed they sh they showed me the career that I wanted to have a and then B paved the way for me to get there. So I, I owe them a debt of gratitude that I will really never be able to repay, but I will always try to pay it forward. Um, I can't overstate what the, the mentorship and the, the investment in each member of the um, master's program, the investment in each individual that, that, that is just intrinsic to this, this program. It is, it's a rare thing and um it it was it was incredibly transformative for me so um thank you for this honor it means a great deal to me i will never stop looking back on that fellowship with gratitude and i will use what i learned from it every day until my retirement that might sound a little bit dramatic but it is actually just true thank you all first to inspire second to challenge, third, and only third, to impart information. In keeping with Dr. Lloyd Smith's definition of a great educator, the ICRE honors a faculty member each year with the Excellence in Teaching Award. We are fortunate to have a diverse and dedicated group of educators at the ICRE who provide world-class training to our students and trainees. It is impossible to overstate the value of our teaching faculty and their contribution to our programs. ICRE students and trainees were asked to nominate a member of our teaching faculty who they felt significantly impacted their training. This year's recipient was described as not only an excellent teacher who makes sure everyone understands and feels included, he also goes above and beyond to help his students. He went out of his way to help mentor and guide his students in the right direction and his expertise, compassion, and patience are to be commended. What a wonderful professor and person. I am delighted to present the 2021 Excellence in Teaching Award to Dr. Scott Rothenberger. Dr. Rothenberger is an assistant professor of medicine and a statistician in the Center for Research on Healthcare Data Center. 
Dr. Rothenberger is an instructor for several biostatistics courses at the ICRE, such as logistic regression and analysis of correlated data. He has also collaborated with the Innovative Design for Education and Assessment, or the IDEA Lab, and helped produce multimedia learning resources for students enrolled in the ICRE's introductory biostatistics course. Congratulations, Dr. Rothenberger, on this well-deserved honor. It is with great honor that I accept the ICRE's Excellence in Teaching Award. I would like to thank my students for their nominations, which are truly humbling. Teaching is such a rewarding experience for me. It has been my pleasure to work with you and learn from you, the students. I would also like to thank all of the other ICRE instructors who were just as deserving of winning this award. We don't teach in silos. All of our courses build upon each other's. Without such a great family of instructors who work together, I would have never succeeded in teaching my own classes. Over the past year, the pandemic has drastically changed the way we teach and learn. Teachers and students in the ICRE had to shift to fully online courses with no in-person component. This brought about many unique and unprecedented challenges. We were no longer able to chat in the hallways before and after class or run into each other on the street and say hello. Forming meaningful connections with students has been quite difficult during these troubling times. Still, we succeeded. Each student is unique and learns in a different way. Everyone does have a voice and everyone's voice matters. By being truly patient and listening to each individual, I have learned to create those meaningful connections despite the pandemic. I meet with my students one-on-one -on -one outside of the classroom to help them understand the course concepts. Learning statistics is not an easy task for many students. I found these conversations to be extremely rewarding and I feel great satisfaction when I see a student reach a eureka moment and comprehend the most difficult of concepts. I even meet with students to provide statistical expertise for their own research projects. Through this, I have formed several collaborations resulting in high quality abstracts, posters, manuscripts, and even grant submissions. Furthermore, I have even become the statistical mentor for many students. I believe that teaching is an excellent opportunity to open the door to such collaborations, and I have benefited from the experience just as much as the students have. Again, thank you so much for this prestigious award. It won't be too long before we can see each other in person, and I look forward to it. Congratulations to all of you who are graduating. Here's to the class of 2021. Throughout the various programs at the ICRE, there exists a rich, multidisciplinary group of scholars, trainees, and students who engage in numerous areas of research. One theme that is consistent throughout all of our programs is the presence of and need for outstanding mentorship. The devoted mentors of ICRE trainees are a critical ingredient to the success of our trainees. The Distinguished Mentor Award is given each year to an exemplary mentor who is dedicated to their mentee, provides constructive feedback, and is clearly invested in their mentee success. Each year, we ask our current trainees to nominate their mentors for this award, and it is always moving to read their nominations and realize the profound influence mentors have on our trainees. The 2021 Distinguished Mentor Award is given to Dr. Philip Empey. Dr. Empey is described as being actively involved and committed as a mentor. He listens to his mentee's interests encouragement and pursuit of those, and provides ample opportunities and tools to exceed goals. He fosters an engaging environment of learning, teamwork, and collaboration. It is apparent that Dr. Empey wants his mentees to achieve success and realize their full potential. Dr. Philip Empey is an associate professor in the School of Pharmacy and the associate director for pharmacogenomics of the Pitt UPMC Institute for Precision Medicine and leads the Precise RX and Test to Learn teams to implement pharmacogenomics, clinical research, and education initiatives. He also directs the University of Pittsburgh Thermo Fisher Scientific Pharmacogenomics Center of Excellence. Dr. Empey is also an alumnus of the iSeries KL2 program. Congratulations, Dr. Empey. I want to sincerely thank the iSeries and the CTSI for this prestigious award. I'm humbled that it was selected by trainees, and I really appreciate all the kind words, especially from those trainees I get the honor to work with every day. As a graduate of the KL2 Scholars Program myself, 
I understand the importance of mentorship in professional development. If it were not for the commitment of outstanding faculty and staff that invested their time in me, I could not achieve my passion of being a clinical translational scientist. Through their training, I get to conduct precision medicine research at the interfaces of pharmacology, genomic medicine, and critical care. We get to translate discoveries into improved care through implementation science. So if I can offer you some advice, pass it forward. As you transition to alumni, you'll forever part of a big, highly successful family here at Pitt. Find your mentees and support them in their development, and I'm sure you'll find it as rewarding as I and all your iCRE mentors do. Thanks again for this award, and congratulations to all the 2021 graduates. We wish you all the best. Congratulations, graduates. I wish to commend each of you for your accomplishments and look forward to hearing about your future success. To the friends and family members who are watching in celebration of the graduates today, I thank you. I know firsthand the importance of care and support from our loved ones along our journeys. This past year has not been an easy one. It has been filled with anxiety and stress amidst the pandemic and also mixed with racial and political unrest. I applaud you for persevering in these challenging times. Your work is more vital than ever. Finally, I'd like to thank the faculty and staff of the ICRE who are integral to the mission and success of our organization. Graduates, I encourage you to celebrate this significant accomplishment with your loved ones. You are changing the world. Be well and congratulations. Thank you.